So you want to learn for free and don't have professional equipment. You came to the right place. Welcome to how to animate for free. Uh, yeah, that's it. Are you expecting more? A lot of people have been asking me what program I use and how do I animate, what do I use and stuff. So first you need a phone, a tablet or a mobile device. Second, you need your fingers. And third, practice more. And fourth, flip a clip. Yes, so what I use for animating is the first generation iPad. I got it from a lucky draw. Yes, I'm lucky. And second, I use my fingers to draw. Yes, I don't have an Apple Pen because I don't think they sell it now. And it's incredibly expensive, so no, I use my fingers. And about what program I use, uh, flip a clip. You probably heard it from a lot of other animators because it's quite popular and it's one of the best apps you could use as a beginner. If you are looking for pro level animation, I think you've came to the wrong place, but it's still really good. So here we are, tutorial, let's go. First step, download Flipper Clip. Alright, after downloading the app, what you're gonna do now is open it. And what you're gonna see is this Flickr <laughs> Flipper Clips homepage. Button down here. And this is basically your animation settings. First, create a great name for animation. Uh, hi, yeah, great name, I know. For the background settings, you can choose to import by pressing this image button down here. Or you can just copy what I do, which is making the background color white. For the canvas size, I usually do it 1080p, because as long as I know, it makes my animation clear. For the frames per second or FPS, animators usually do 24 FPS. But take note, the higher the FPS, the more drawings you need to draw, but the smoother your animation will be. So press create project and we are good to go. So basically now I'm going to explain to you every single tool you need to know in Flip a Clip. So this is the brush tool. You can choose a lot of brushes, you can edit the size and the color, the opacity or transparency, and basically use it. Ooh, thick line. <laughs> Alright, this is the eraser. If you don't know what an eraser do, I am seriously concerned if you can continue. By tapping it, you can simply adjust the size, the feathering, and no color. Look, it's, it, it's an eraser. This is the select tool. You can select anywhere you want to select <laughs> and like basically move it around, squash it, shrink it, stretch it, move it around, do anything you want with it, flip it around, or deleting it from your life. Yes, forever. Alright, this is the fill tool. You can like choose the color you want to fill and by simply tapping anywhere you want to fill. Amazing, I know. This is the text tool. You can like choose the type of text you want it to be, the size, the color, the everything. This app is very flexible, so it's very good for beginners. So highly recommend it. Very good. It's this ruler, so you can basically draw straight lines, you can draw circles, and you can draw squares. Nice. And this is the copy button, like when you select something, you just basically press copy, and after that, you press paste. This is the paste button, and you have a complete duplicate of something. This is what I do usually do when I like maybe draw two person. And maybe they have the same height or something, I just copy and paste. And this is the undo and redo button. If you don't know what undo and redo button do, what are you doing in primary school, man? <laughs> Alright, so basically you press the undo button, you undo stuff, and redo button, you redo stuff. <laughs> yeah. Alright, this button, I'm not really sure how to explain it. I am just going to show, you, show it to you. Alright, watch closely. Alright, this is basically what it does, like, if your tab just like goes away and you want to find it, just press it and it will pop right back. This is the basic tree dot button, like it access all the settings you wanna. This, does, this is the project settings, you can like go back to where we are just now. This is the frames viewer, like you can view all of your drawn frames in your animation and there's a lot of options here. 
Alright, this is the onion skin. Like, it basically shows you the frames before in like shadows and stuff. I'll just show you. Alright, see? This is the onion skin. This thing is the onion skin. Right, and then this is the grid. I don't really use it, but you can. I'm not really sure what it does. It just shows you lines and stuff. This is the add image and add video button. Like, you can import image and videos. This is the make movie button, which is when you finish your animation, you press make movie and it'll like make the movie out for you so you can post it on anywhere you want. Here we have the audio button, we have the add image button, the skip button, the play button, and the layer button. So basically you can press this audio button and you can like record your own audio or input some mp3s or choose audios from the audio library, but you need to pay for it. And this is the add, add frame button, like you can add more frames and stuff. This is the skip button, like you skip to the start or skip to the end. And this is the play button, it basically plays your animation. And this is the layers button, you can like add layers up to like 3 layers. But if you pay for it, you can like add a lot of layers. You can like, this is the opacity, you can like delete it and do anything you want with it. Yes, this is basically it. Now I'm going to make a speed animation just for you guys to see how I usually work and stuff. Watch closely. So now I'm going to like add my audio, press the second button. Cookie is best served with milk. Cookie is best served with milk. Oh my god, my voice. <laughs> Alright, so let's just add it in. Trim here because we did because we don't need it drag it and here I have done the character design so like it, it moves the eyes only but the lip syncing is still not there about lip syncing I am going to make another video about that so you guys don't get messed up done the lip syncing and now I'm going to show you a little um, skill you need to use awfully in your animation which is zooming out and zooming in like basically zooming all right I'll show you right now so now what I'm planning to do is make this cookie zoom out of the screen like to make it move not just stay there so the first thing I'm gonna do now is like basically trim it first so it's a round shaped one. Alright, let's see. Alright, so now I've done trimming it and now I'm going to make it zoom out. So the thing you need to do is, the crucial part is, you need to first select it and adjust it to the size you want it to be and the last place you want it to be at and copy it need to copy it make sure you copy it so the first thing you do is like shrink it to like very small and then go to the next page and you will see this little onion skin make sure you toggle the onion skin on or not you are not going to see it so 
keep pressing pace and like make it zoom out make it bigger and bigger moment by moment just feel free to copy what I do just keep pasting and pasting and make it zoom out make it bigger and bigger and there will be this zooming out effect right now we have it Cookie is best served. Cookie and as you can see, it zoomed out <laughs> like I intended to. So now what we are gonna do is keep copying it and paste it to every single frame. Alright, so now we will add the milk in. So best served with. This is where the milk comes in and basically press this three dots, add image, add whatever image to it. Alright, so I've added the milk, like make it to the size I want it to be. It's somewhere here. And I'm going to trim it. So I copy it and then undo everything. Milk. Add an extra frame. Paste it. Start trimming it. Great, now we've finished trimming it. Copy it and do the exactly the same thing. So now we make it very small first. Make it bigger and bigger. And we are done. Cookie is best served with milk. Great. So now what we are going to do is press make movie. And it's basically going to do everything for us. Press make movie. Yep. And it's a nice two second video. Cookie is best served with milk. Alright, so there you have it. Press save to photos and... We are done. So the most often question I get asked on Flipper Clip is how to get your home screen to be in dark mode. So a lot of people don't know how to do this, so I'm going to show it to you now. So first press this weird line thingy. Press settings. And there you go, light in dark mode. Press it to the dark thing. After you've done it with it, you just press movies. You see, oh, oh alright, nothing. Just press this and you can like basically share it to everywhere you wanna. So this is basically the whole tutorial. Oh my god. This is basically the whole tutorial and I hope you now have a little bit of like direction on how are you going to animate your videos. So this is basically it. I hope you learned something from it and I guess I'll see you guys next time.